Hey there, I'm Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative. Welcome to my channel, or if you're one of my regulars, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to weld, group, and attach in Cricut Design Space. These are functions you will use a lot, but they can be a little confusing. So I'm gonna use the examples you see here to show you how, why, and when to use each of these tools. But first, as you normally hear from most YouTubers, I would greatly appreciate it if at the end of the video, you feel like you got something good out of it, uh, you would hit the thumbs up button and better yet, subscribe to my channel. I release uh, videos on Cricut, Silhouette, and Scan and Cut software and projects, as well as card making tutorials. And if at the end of the video you have any questions or you have suggestions for topics or projects you'd like me to cover, I would love to hear about that in the comments. All of those things will greatly help my channel and I really appreciate it. So thanks in advance. Now let's get started. All right, first we're gonna talk a little bit about group and then more about weld. So I have this word love typed out here in a scripty font, but each of the letters are separate from each other. And when you look over here on the right of the layers panel, you can see that each letter is on a separate layer and that each is going to be cut out individually. But that's not what I want. I want it to be, I want them to be like joined together as one single word and I want it all to like cut out as one continuous word. So I can push them together by clicking and dragging them and that looks pretty good, but I can't move it around because if I click and drag, like it's not going to grab all the letters. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to grab everything. It's just going to take each one. So if I want to move it around as one word, like the easiest way to do that is to click and drag over it. And then I can right click and hit group. And so that's going to group these four letters together. As you see over here, it's got the header group. However, each letter is still its own layer. Now I can resize this. So I'm resizing all four letters at the same time proportionally to each other, which is a great reason to group something. I can also move it around. Like I can click off it and then I just click it once to grab it and move it. And that's another great reason to group something. But it's not connecting them together. And a really good way to, to see this is if I change the cut line on this, cut the line type from cut to draw. And now you can really see that each letter is its own individual thing. <laughs> when it was filled, you didn't notice that, but now that it is, each one is like, you've seen the outline as it would be drawn by the Cricut. Each one is its own finished letter. And these little, these parts overlap and there's these overlapping lines and we don't really want that. That's, I want it to be all one, joined word and made just a word, not four letters stuck together. So the way to fix that is to go over here to the lower right of at the very bottom of the layers panel. And there is this button that says weld. It's like a square and a circle that have been literally like joined together as one shape. And I'm going to click on that. And then you'll see that all those overlapping lines disappear and it becomes one continuous scripty word. And if I change this back to cut, you can see it better over here on the layers panel. Instead of being separate letters like January is over here, it is now one solid word on one layer. And so that is how you know that you have successfully welded something. So as I mentioned, grouping, like grouping this, for for example, if I, you can also group by going up here and hitting group. Um, you know, it allows you to move, move something around. It allows you to resize it. 
Um, it's a great tool for if you wanted to say like, you know, we want to have January and love near each other for some, you know, reason. And we wanted to have them look good together. You know, you can mess around with it uh, as individual groups. But then let's say you decide, oh, I don't like the way this Y looks. It looks weird. You can still click on it, right click and ungroup it. Or you can go over to the top of the layers panel again and hit ungroup. And then they're, they become individual elements that you can move apart and rearrange. So grouping items is like grouping a bunch of people for a photograph. <laughs> so you can, uh, you, you put them together, you arrange them in a nice way and they're, and they're all a big group, but you still have the freedom to move individuals around and put them in a better position for your photo. So you can move individual letters around by ungrouping or individual words or whatever you're looking at. Um, to change the arrangement. Welding, on the other hand, is much more permanent. So grouping and ungrouping, easy to do. Welding, not so easy to do. The only way to unweld, if you will, <laughs> or undo a weld, really, is to hit the undo arrow up here in the upper left corner. Now, that's okay, <laughs> but you need to be aware that you can undo many, many times if you need to. I mean, you can just keep clicking the arrow as long as you haven't saved the design in between when you welded the object and when you realize you need to unweld it. But be aware that if you weld something and then you work on a different part of the design only to realize later that you didn't want to weld the first object, by clicking the undo arrow, you will have to undo everything you have done since then, one step at a time, <laughs> until you get back to where you welded the first object. It's not the ideal situation uh, or solution, but I mean, hey, at least you have a way to do it if you absolutely have to. But if you're worried about that, my advice would be that before you weld something, you duplicate it. So let's say we wanted to weld January, but we weren't sure that, I, that we wanted to weld it permanently. And normally you wouldn't weld a, like a, something that isn't connected like this, but you, you can do it, but it's a little weird. Um, I would first, duplicate it. So you have oh, two ways to do that. You can right click on it and hit duplicate and it will make a copy. You can do the same thing by uh, selecting it and then going up to the top of the layers panel, just right next to group and ungroup and hit duplicate and that'll make you a copy too. So then you'd have a second, like a copy before you weld it that you could just put off to the side work on the design, weld the first one and then work on the design. And if you decide you need to unweld it, then you have the copy that you can just put in its place. Or if you decide you're good with it and you don't need to weld it, then you can just delete the copy. So a little bit of extra work, but if you're very concerned about welding, that would be the best solution before you do it. And you might want to do that as a, you know, if you're a beginner, until you get used to the differences between these functions so that you know, like, okay, this is absolutely 100% what I want to do on welding before you do it. Hopefully that makes sense. And I hope I've been clear kind of about how, what the difference is between grouping an object and welding an object. Now, the final tool to talk about is attach. And there are a couple ways to attach that you would use attach for. So first off, let's look at this, the heart and the, and the circle here. So looking at it on the canvas, you probably have figured out that I want the heart to go on top of the circle. If we go over to the layers panel on the right, you'll notice that the heart is to be foiled and the circle is to be cut. So obviously I want to foil the heart on top of the circle. But because these are two separate layers, 
the software system, the design space doesn't understand that. Like it just looks at layers as like individual elements um, to be made, if you will. And we can see that pretty well by going over to make it. And now you see that how the mats have been divided out. So you've got the heart on the first mat, which is to be foiled. Then on the second one is the circle, totally separate from the foiling. Third one is the love word. And then the fourth one is, well, it's supposed to be January, but you'll notice that it has been all like ripped apart and like just rearranged as individual letters from biggest to smallest in an attempt by the software to like conserve material to give you like the items you want to cut in the smallest space possible on the mat. So we don't want either one of those scenarios. So let's fix that. I'm going to cancel and go back. And you can see over here, January was grouped when I sent it to make it, but it still pulled the word apart and made it all nutso and crazy. So, the way to fix both of those problems is to attach them to each other. So to do that, I'm going to click and drag to um, select the heart and the circle. And down here on the lower right, next to weld, is attach. It looks like a paperclip. And then once I do that, it comes into its own little subgrouping here under an attach header. And so now the software knows that, all right, this foiled heart and this circle are attached to each other. They're like kind of adhered together. It's like they form one object, but there's two steps to it. Now the second way to use attach is to attach a word to itself, sort of. What you're doing is you're attaching the letters together. And this would be like, if I want to have this word January cut out like exactly as you see it out of say, you know, vinyl, and I'm gonna use it as a stencil to paint on a sign or something. And I want January to be in this exact layout. So what I would need to do is again, click and drag to select all of it. And, e and this is grouped, so it's a little easier to so I could just click it like that. And now I'll go down and attach this. So it doesn't matter that it's grouped and attached. They don't really affect each other. You wouldn't need to group it first to attach them all together. It's just, it doesn't matter if you do it. Now let's undo that for a second. And I want to talk about the difference between attaching and welding in these two scenarios. So if we um, undo the attach of the heart, oh, you can also do that by, let me, did I redo? Okay. If I click on it, you can right click and you can detach down here. You can also detach down here once items are attached to each other. So if I detach them and instead I weld them, let's say, the heart completely disappears and it's not even on the layers panel anymore. It's just a circle now because basically welding is like permanently adhering or welding two things together. You're like bringing those separate elements literally into each other to become one thing. So that's why the letters became the word love. So that's not what we would want for that particular scenario. So I'm gonna undo that and then I will attach it again. We just want the software to know that we're more like gluing them together rather than permanently welding them into each other. It's like we're saying, hey, the heart goes on top of the circle. That's the order I wanted in and that's what I wanted to look like in the end. Now you can attach these words as we did a minute ago to get them to stay exactly as you see them. You could also weld them. So I have, they're not attached anymore and I'm gonna hit weld down here. And actually that doesn't change the result really 
on in this particular situation like where the letters are all separate from each other and you just want to keep them in the layout that they're in you can weld them however as i mentioned before welding is like super permanent or really really difficult to undo so i think it's a lot better and a lot easier to just attach them to each other so let's go to the make it the mat screen again hit make it and see what's changed as a result of attaching so now we see the circle and the heart are together on one mat and over here on the left it says foil bold and then cut so it's going to do the foiling first of the heart and then it's going to cut the circle and it knows that this is all one thing like it's sort of one object with two steps if you will the love is on its own mat and then the january is on its own mat too but now it is attached the way we want it to look it's sort of it's kind of like gluing it in place if you will attaching it weld with a word like this would do the exact same thing um, but again weld is pretty permanent and i would say really only use weld when you're doing things like this where you're making like letters into a solid scripty word just as a good rule of thumb all right so that brings me to the end of my little lesson on welding grouping and attaching I hope I have cleared up some of the confusion around those, especially like on the layers panel, they can look very similar to each other, but they have di very different functions. So as I mentioned at the beginning, if you have any questions um, and you that you need me to answer, please feel free to leave me a comment. I do get back to people fairly quickly. Um, and also, if you learned something today or you simply enjoyed my video, I would really appreciate it. Again, if you could hit the thumbs up button. Um, I also am looking for suggestions or ideas on things you would like me to cover. Um, they can be related to software for Cricut, Silhouette Studio, or Brother Scan Kit, or projects, or card making tutorials, any of the above. So leave me a comment about that. I also want to make sure that I am providing you with the help you need. So a great way for me to know what that is, is for you to let me know in the comments. As I mentioned, I post tutorials on Cricut Silhouette and Brother Scanicut software and projects, as well as tutorials on making cards with stamps and dies. So I would really love it if you would also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are released. I really appreciate you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Crafters are just absolutely the best. Have an amazing, amazing day.